Okay, I am going to show you how to input a different kind of link into your extra, or it could be part of your assignment, however you're working things on your Google Classroom. So if you will go to Kahoot, if you do not have a Kahoot, they are also free, you can go and sign in and get your Kahoots. So there are multiple ways that you can look for Kahoots. If you go to Discover right here in the top corner, you can type in, I'm just going to use main idea because that's what we were looking at earlier. And you can view the activities. Um, you always want to view them. Sometimes they might have crazy clip art or you might not like the questions or whatever that it is giving you. So if you favorite the Kahoot, you can then go to Kahoot's up at the top. And it will show up now in your favorites. If it shows up in your favorites, you can duplicate it. If you duplicate it, now you see how it says duplicate, you can now edit it. So, if you want to edit it, first thing you want to do is take off this duplicate. And you can go in and pick a different answer, change the answers, change the clip art, whatever it is that you want to do, and then you would just put done when you're done editing it. That is an option if you want to change anything on the Kahoot. If you don't want to change anything on the Kahoot, and I'm going to go back to discover for you. If you click on it, you can see each question and each answer to see if you like it. If you like it the way it is, push the favorite button. That way you can get to it later and move on. You don't have to go through that whole duplicate edit. That's just if you want to change something, okay? Um, but if you like it the way it is, click that favorite button so that it now would be over here when you click Kahoot and you don't have to go to Discover each time and push play. Of course, if we were in our classroom, we would host it live. The kids love that. But you want to go to Create Challenge. Now, I have been changing my date to the last date that will let me pick. That way they can play it for as long as we are stuck at home. I have also been taking the timer off so that they don't get frustrated with the time limits. And I haven't randomized the answer order because they're not sitting next to their friend and just clicking the same color in them. But as a classroom teacher, this is great to do whenever they are sitting next to each other because some of them like to just stare at each other's screen. And he clicked red, so I clicked red. So you want to copy this. Or you can go directly to your Google Classroom with it. And it's going to go ahead and make the assignment for you. Pick the class. I'm picking my practice class. I'm making an assignment with it. Although, because they're not actually inputting anything, I'm actually going to do create material. Those two things are interchangeable. Just make sure if you want them to type something like a Google slide or a Google form, it needs to go assignment, not material. So it pretty much just skipped a step for me. So I am going to say fun. Kahoot review and then I'm going to go I want this to be in my math and my math or my science and my science and then I want it to go in extras so they know it's not required and I want to post it that easy now if you wanted to copy it copy the link sorry my dad is calling back with you in a second okay I'm back sorry about that so we copied this link I could go in create material name it add a link because that's what I copied paste and then what class would I like it in what topic would I like it in and post it now I'm gonna have it in there twice obviously because I um, 
did once, but a lot of these programs are starting to send it straight to Google Classroom for you. So that is great. So that is how to add a Kahoot. And just if you want to see what it looks like, because that's fun, you can click on your Kahoot. And I'm going to tell them my name. Now I haven't finished one to see what the data looks like, but I'm pretty sure that it will shoot it back to your Kahoot account and you can see how many they got right um, of the ones that you assigned. I just haven't had any kiddos have to finish any to see if that's the way it works. So there is a way to add a Kahoot to your Google Classroom.